welcome back to the channel so today we have installed a fatigation tank and this is our game agenda we has installed it is gonna take us through the process in which he installed the fatigation tank hi there mr student yes good afternoon how are you i'm fine how are you yeah yeah this is the our, our, our fatigation tank uh, we, we use it now when we want to to put our liquid fertilizer in our in our greenhouse we just add our dilution here in the tank we use uh, the fertilization tank as well when we want to, to cure some diseases uh, like the, the the nematodes we just pour our, our water here and mix it with, with the chemical so when we when the, this tip is, is like this it's closed so we will fill uh, our, our chemicals there or our, our fertilizers there Anyway, when the when the drum is full, we will then open now, so that to I uh, will allow the chemical or the fertilizer to flow to the, to flow uh, with, uh, with the pipe to the drip irrigation. Okay, so you you say the liquid fertilizer. What what do you mean exactly? I do we have to put like those bars or compound into liquid or like lambda? I ah, know, uh, basal is basal, it's not a liquid fertilizer. Liquid fertilizer is a fertilizer right on its own? It's a, just a liquid, we do just dilute with water. Which, we have, which every farmer should use? Uh, not necessarily, but in a greenhouse, usually we advise the use of liquid, liquid fertilizer. When we plant it like this, it's certain stages when we want to put our fertilizer. Oh, no longer do it the, the other way, like it yeah. manually. Um, yeah, the, the, the reason to, for, for using the liquid fertilizer is to throw the, the fertilization tank just to cut uh, our labor cost so that uh, just a single person can work in the fertilizer application. The fertilizer application. Okay, just a question this is for fertilization. But it's, I'm seeing that this pipe is going to go right down into the greenhouse, following into the following the, to the drip lines. Right. So, what separation we need when we want to water our plants and we want to fertigate our plants? Do we have to we have a separate source of water, like a, a, another tank? Yes, when you want to to, to use it for. for for, for watering now, there is a different thing from this one. A much more, more bigger thing. This one is for fertilization processes only, with the, the liquid fertilizer application. So we want to water our crops, we use a different thing from this one. So they will be needed for a bit of plumbing to, to separate the two? Yeah, What's they, the... there is also the use of plumbing just to separate the two so that the, the, the watering water just goes on its own, the fertilization water and the, the liquid fertilizer goes on its own. Or like there will be some type of another open or close, or maybe this one, they will be separated like two pipes. And there, there's also a, just a, the mechanism will, just, will be the same, the difference will only with the, with the tank. The difference only with the tank. Okay. So this is a must have for every greenhouse. Yeah, this is a must have for every greenhouse. We advise every farmer to have this for, for their greenhouse. So that's it guys for our fertigation tank installation. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Join us for the next update next time.